Hello viewers, welcome to Roving Report, a program that gives you an overview of the developments in India's northeast region. I'm your host Chandrakala and the highlights of today's program are MHA team visits Brew Refugee Camp in North Tripura to discuss early repatriation. People pay heartfelt tribute to 855 martyrs of 1979, Assam agitation. The Culture of Peace, a festival of Northeast held in New Delhi. And Nong Krem Dance Festival held in Meghalaya. Repatriation of brood tribal refugees to their homes in Mizoram has been a major issue of concern and the centre is rolling out various initiatives to resolve the decade-long issue. The Brew people have been in seven camps in the northern part of Tripura for the last 19 years. Recently, a high-level team led by the Special Secretary to the Ministry of Home Affairs, M.K. Singla, made a visit to the camps in North Tripura district to discuss about an early repatriation to their home state, Mizoram. He also interacted with the inmates there. We present a report. Repatriation of the brews, which was more likely to start by November, is still on hold. Expressing concern over the matter, MHA officials have been frequently visiting the camps to take stock of the situation, especially pertaining to demands made by the brews after early repatriation to their home state of Mizoram. Recently, a high-level team led by the Special Secretary to the Ministry of Home Affairs, Internal Security, M.K. Singla, visited the camps in North Tripura district to discuss their early repatriation. central government government इन्होंने जो जो बातें कही वो हमने सुनी है और हम इसको जो जो हम कर पाएंगे इनके लिए वो हम करना चाहेंगे मैं समझता हूं सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट भी इसके साथ सहयोग रहेगा सिंगला आल्सो विजिटेड टू इवैक्यूएट कैंप्स एट आशापारा एंड नेसिंगपारा he, along with other officials of North Tripura and security officials, also held a meeting with the leaders of Mizoram Brew Displaced People's Forum. He further interacted with the inmates of the camps, discussed their issues and explained to them about the facilities they will get after repatriation. Meanwhile, the inmates were seen holding placards, demanding birth certificates to the newborn babies, caste certificate and Aadhaar card, written agreements, allotment of land to each family, updating inmates list as well as deployment of central security forces in villages of Mizoram where they shall be repatriated. मैं अभी आते-आते मैं एक विलेज में गया था उसमें कुछ फैमिलीज मिजोस की भी और ब्रूज की भी वो भी रह रहे हैं और ऐसा नहीं है जूम कल्टीवेशन होता है उसमें सभी को इक्वल राइट है विलेज काउंसिल उसका लॉट निकालती है ऑक्शन करती है तो जिसको भी वो मिलता है वो साल उसमें खेती करता है उसके साथ साथ जैसे ये कुछ डिमांड्स हैं जिनको हम जैसे स्कूल का इन्होंने कहा क्योंकि बच्चों को एजुकेशन चाहिए मैं भी मानता हूँ और हमारी गवर्नमेंट भी मानती है सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट भी मानती है तो उनकी एजुकेशन के लिए हम क्या कर पाएंगे ये चीज सभी हम देखेंगे अर्ली इन नवंबर द प्रोसेस ऑफ आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ डिस्प्लेस्ड ब्रूस वाज स्टार्टेड it is to be noted that about 35,000 Bru Riang people from neighboring Mizoram took shelter in six evacuee camps in Kanchanpur subdivision of North Tripura district in a phased manner since 1997 following ethnic clashes with Mizos over land dispute. Such an effort on part of the center is expected to solve their issues and fulfill their legitimate demands. Well, hundreds of locals strong thus made the cultural center for Khasi Hills in Meghalaya to witness one of the most ancient and grand festivals of the indigenous Khasi tribe, the Nongkrem Dance Festival in Meghalaya. The festival brought together tourists from different parts of the state as well as from all around the globe. Take a look. 
India's Nordic region is known for its rich folklore, festivals and culture that attract many tourists from across the country as well as from around the globe. In Meghalaya's beautiful Kasi Hills, many magnificent festa are celebrated with tremendous poem and grandeur. One of among them is the Nokram Dance Festival. The annual event was held amidst much fanfare at the scenic hamlet of Smith, the culture center for Kasi Hills in Meghalaya, and chiding the tourists with its divine appearance. During the festival, which is celebrated as a Thanksgiving Day, rituals are performed to appease the old powerful goddess Kepli Sinsar for a rich bumper harvest and prosperity of the people. In this congregation, we celebrate the day as a Thanksgiving Day to offer our prayers to God Almighty our Creator that so much generously help us throughout the year and for many years and we 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 we, we pray him that he continue his blessings for the people of our land to prosper in every way. As per the rituals, unmarried young women, tucked up in their exotic and traditional attires, move to the center of dancing arena in front of the link set that is Taj Palace and take tiny steps as per the drum beats. The men hold a sword in their right hand and usually a white yak hair twist in the left, dancing more vigorously and energetically to the beats of the drums and the tunes of the danmuri or pipes. Dressed in the best, hundreds of locals thrown the hilltop to witness the ancient festival. Over the years, the indigenous festival has been attracting large number of tourists from all around the globe. We're in uh, Meghalaya at the moment, uh, just doing some research and some work, and we're enjoying this fantastic festival today, the first time we've ever seen this Kasi tradition uh, during the Kasi New Year, so uh, we're looking forward to it. Such festivals are playing an important role to revive the tying traditions and customs of many indigenous tribes in the Nordic region. Well, let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. Remembering the tireless and courageous fight put up by the Manipuri women against the British and the traders to ensure social and economical development of people during the first and second Nupilal in 1904 and 1939. Nupilal Memorial Day was observed in Manipur. Various civil society organizations and local bodies also celebrated the day across the state. As a part of the day, the 25th state-level Nupilal Memorial Marathon was also organized in Imphal. Around 900 women, above 30 years of age from across the state participated in the marathon. The participants covered a distance of 3 kilometers from the complex to Singjamai Market. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal recently reviewed the passing out parade of the 48th batch of police officers at Northeastern Police Academy in Meghalaya. DR Dole Barman, IPS Director NEPA, administered the oath taking ceremony. Nagaland Home Minister Vai Paton, other dignitaries and kin of the cadres also witnessed the spectacular parade. 98 trainees passed out of NEPA. Committee Against Unabated Taxation, a Nagaland-based civil society organization conducted a surprise visit to some of the godowns stocking PDS items like rice in Dimapur and claimed to have discovered a multiple thousand crore scam. In a press release, ACAUT said it found that rice was being packed and kept ready in thousands of white synthetic bags for disposal. The ECOT alleged that this racket has been going on for the last decade or so and a thorough probe should reveal the true picture. The ACOT claimed that they, insiders, also disclosed that the rice was being sold off to different mills and the open market. Two hardcore terrorists of insurgent group National Democratic Front of Borderland or NDFBS were recently gunned down by Indian Army and Assam Police in Kokrajhar district of Assam. The operation was carried out on the basis of specific intelligence received by the forces. An AK-47 rifle and a pistol along with large quantity of ammunition were recovered by the forces. The 
The 62nd National School Under-17 Girls Football Tournament was recently held at Kuman Lampak Main Stadium in Imphal. The tournament was organized by the State Government's Department of Youth Affairs and Sports under the auspices of National School Games Federation of India. A total of 19 teams from 19 states participated in the tournament. Haryana clashed with Manipur in the final and paid the host by 1-0. The 11th edition of Jorhat Book Fair was recently organized by Assam Academic Center in collaboration with Jorhat District Administration National Book Trust India and All Assam Publishers and Booksellers Association in Jorhat District of Assam. The fair saw publishers from Assam and other cities like New Delhi, Kolkata and Ludhiana put up 91 stalls. Books sold at the fair ranged from subjects of science to arts, sports, fiction and astronomy among others. Hundreds of young children and avid readers thronged the 10-day fair. Recently, a peaceful mass protest against the deputation culture in the state was organized by Assistant Urban Program Officers Welfare Forum, Urban Development Department and Housing Department Government of Arunachal Pradesh. The peaceful protest was staged at Tennis Court in Itanagar, protesting against deputation of Urban Program Officers and assistant program officers from PW Department of the State. The Ingenious Forum has expressed their displeasure and injustice meted out to them by the authority in the form of deputation. The Assam Movement or Assam Agitation, a popular movement during 1979 to 1985 against illegal immigrants in Assam, was a historic movement for its people. During the Andolan, 855 martyrs gave out their lives fighting to free Assam and securing the safety and security of its people. Their sacrifice is worth remembering, although in recent times we have tended to forget it. For the first time in Assam's history and after a gap of 30 long years, the present Assam government organized an event in the memory of those martyrs who had given up their lives in the hope of an infiltration-free Assam. We bring a report. It was during the period of 1979 to 1985 when Assam was burning in the fire of struggle against illegal Bangladeshi immigrants. The movement was led by All Assam Student Union with support of various other organizations of Assam. Though the decade-long issue of illegal immigrants still remains unsolved, efforts are on to solve the matter. During the historic Assam movement, one of the most famous agitations in post-colonial India, 855 martyrs laid down their lives and thousands were injured. For the first time ever in the history of Assam, the Sonwal-led government came up with an initiative to pay tribute to the martyrs. The grand ceremony named Shraddhanjali was held at Khanapara Veterinary College playground in Guwahati. <laughs> People from almost all districts of Assam gathered in large numbers to pay their tributes to the great martyrs. Representatives from various indigenous organizations, All Assam Students Union, Assam Sahitya Shabha, Hodo Ahom Karmachari Parishad, Kendriya Ardha Kendriya Karmachari Parishad were also a part of it. In his address, the Chief Minister pledged to carry forward the legacy of the movement and complete their unfinished agenda. A 
Along with Sonowal Minister of State Independent Charge Railways Rajin Gohai, Finance Minister Himanta Vishwa Sharma and other cabinet ministers were present during the ceremony. छह साल आंदोलन किया था अपने को सुरक्षित करने के लिए और उस आंदोलन में आठ सौ पचपन लोग शहीद हुए थे आज उनका श्रद्धांजलि ज्ञापन हो रहा है वो भी सरकार की तरफ से हो रहा है ये बहुत अच्छी बात है पहला बार तीस साल का बाद इस तरह से हम हमारे सरकार ने इन शहीदों के लिए जो सम्मान देना चाहिए वो आज दे रहा है Financial assistance of rupees 5 lakhs was declared by finance minister Himanta Vishwa Sharma to the martyrs family during the occasion. A souvenir titled Shraddhanjali was also released during the auspicious ceremony. A patriotic song composed by legendary singer Lake Bhupen Hazarika Swahit Pranamo Tumak was performed by a group as a mark of tribute to the martyrs. Besides this, O Mur Apunar Dekh, the state song of Assam, written by Lakshminath Bejpurwa, was also performed during the event. Thirty-six, thirty-seven years of history is something very unique and different. Today, I am an administrator. It's good. It's good. Uh, some new thing, new perversion, and the government side, you know, all of. सम डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ परिवर्तन के लिए आज जो हमारा असम आंदोलन का मार्टियर्स है स्वागत फैमिली है इन लोग लेके इन लोग का फिलिसिटेट करके यू नो ए काइंड ऑफ या गुड रेगुलेशन दिया बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है सच एन अप्रोच बाय गवर्नमेंट टू रिजर्वेक्ट द लॉस हिस्ट्री ऑफ असम मूवमेंट विल गो अलोंग वे इन इवोकिंग एंड क्रिएटिंग अवेयरनेस अमंग द पीपल अबाउट द सुप्रीम सैक्रिफाइसेस ऑफ द मार्टियर्स Culture of Peace a literary festival celebrating the diverse and vivid cultures of northeast through writing music theater film and media was recently held in new delhi organized under the initiative of zuban an independent feminist publishing house in collaboration with the henrich bol foundation and sasakawa peace foundation the festival aimed at bringing pertinent issues concerning the region into the forefront of public discourse we bring a report It is often said that words are the most powerful medium to express what one feels and thinks. With the passage of time, literature writing has become one of the powerful medium in a democracy like India. Contribution to Indian literature by eminent writers from its northeastern region like Mitra Phukan, Bhavananda Deka, Dhruva Hazarika, Temsulla Ao has been immense. India's northeast has always been identified as a turbulent region. Literature has been building up its base in this volatile region with a number of writers, poets and bloggers aiming to create a positive impact on the masses through their writings. To bring forth their sense of writings by eminent writers from the region, Zuban and independent feminist publishing house organized Cultures of Peace festival in the national capital. distinguished writers novelists poets journalists and academicians from all across the region gathered at the festival to share their opinions and discuss about the literature the literature that we are producing now in the north is is positive that is what we want to give to the next generation it is not about the violence because that is not all that there is to us there's so much more so much beauty there and uh, i i recall the words of an american girl who had spent a few months in delhi and then came to spend a month in nagaland she she said i feel so safe here students professionals from all walks of life shared the viewpoints and interacted with panelists during the festival panelists also took up the issue of ethnic violence among different communities of the region during a session at the event and there seems to be a, an unending chain of violence that is having either it is from the state or civil society groups or even from the uh, obvious power point that is uh, insurgent organizations uh, so this 
has been going on for quite too long. And perhaps there is a need to come out of that. Uh, not that you completely ignore the state of violence, but deal, handle this violence with a different medium altogether. And creative writings is one way in which you address the issue, but reach out to the other with a positive note that perhaps this is what we ought not to do. Besides this, the issues like protests, role of social media in mobilizing and in campaigning were also discussed at the meet. As an anthropologist and also, you know, as a person who is concerned and engages with Northeast India is that I think all of us needs to know that she's a human being and then she needs to move on. I think she has been the symbol of protest and also really a, a very important figure in the campaign against the Armed Forces Special Fire Act. But now I think she did what she had to do on her part and now it depends on us. Uh, whether it's academics, whether it's social activists, whether it's community leaders or just the larger public to know that this is an ongoing process and we should uh, wish her well in her new, I think, uh, projects and see where she has to go because she has the right to her life. Poetry has always been the language of the soul. And the evening brought to life an amazing musical poetry recitation by Esther and Kire and Jazz Try that led the audience spellbound. It's leaping. Esther and Kire is one of the finest storytellers from the region and has written several books, including Bitter Warm Wood, that was published by Zuban House. Poetry recitals by poets Soibam Haripriya from Manipur and poets Nitu Das and Divya Jyoti Sharma from Assam also stole the show. Woman -like on also during the festival, an interesting panel discussion on the rich heritage of clothes, fabrics, fashion and tourism of the Northeast brought together young designers, professor and writer on one platform who shared the views. It is worth mentioning that a young Manipur-based designer, Richana Kumantham, who was among one of the panelists, strives to bring the textiles of Northeast India and Manipur in particular to the forefront. The festival ended on a high note, showing solidarity and hope. It also celebrated the spirit of Northeastern women and showcased their strength and resilience despite the conflict. Peace and development is a buzzword in the Northeast. Let's take a quick look at some development news from the region. Union Minister for Road, Transport and Highways, Nitin Kankari, recently laid foundation stones for Parak and Makro preachers in Chiribam district of Manipur. During his official visit to the state, the Union Minister also announced a package of rupees 22,000 crores for new road projects in the state. The newly announced highway projects by the minister include Ukrul Doloy Dadubi Road, NH102A, Churachampu Singha Singzol Duai Road, NH102B, Damanglong Kongsang Road, Churachampu Yangang Pokpi Road, Mao Crater Imphal Highway, and Kumpong Nambol Mayang, Imphal Kakshing Road, Tipaimuk Imphal Ukrul Jasami Road, and Kumpong Nambol Mayang Imphal Kakshing Lamgai Road. Manipur Chief Minister Akram Ibobi Singh recently inaugurated a 3311 kV power station at Kakching Mahadeva Ching and a community hall at Kakching Turel Wangma of the newly created Kakching district. The power substation has been constructed at a cost of Rs 4 crore 29 lakh and community hall construction costs Rs 1 crore 30 lakh. The substation will benefit several areas of Kakching district. Muscle Mania 2016, a fitness awareness program and all Nagaland bodybuilding championship were recently held at IMC Hall in Timapu. Organized by Hardcore Team in association with Right Fight Max Protein, bodybuilders and fitness experts from all over Nagaland along with team owners turned up to attend the event. 19 participants competed across four weight categories including lightweight, middleweight, light middleweight and heavyweight. The participants were required to showcase their physique with seven compulsory poses, each along with choreography of 40 seconds. They were judged on the basis of their muscular structures and poses. Two winners were shortlisted from each category.
Traffic police and transport enforcement staff in Mizoram recently conducted no tolerance or special drive against traffic rules violators and offenders within the idle city. The traffic police would conduct mass checking on violation of traffic rules, especially drunken driving, smoking and using mobile while driving, and incomplete documents. Stringent penalty would also be imposed and fine would be charged from violators and drunken driving would be punished with suspension of driving license for three months apart from imposing fine. India's northeastern city Imphal recently hosted two beauty pageants. Youngsters from across the state impressed the audience and the judges alike with multitude of talents. Have a look. People of the Nordic region are known for their natural beauty and a flair for style and fashion. The recently held beauty pageant Miss Manipur 2016 saw 20 young beauties from the state vying for the title. The participants were selected from 35 contingents from different ethnic communities of the state. Local residents of Imphal and other parts of the state braved the bitter cold as they thrown Pakya Chandra open ear theater to cheer their favorite contestants. The pageant was held after a gap of four years after it was banned by women's organizations in the state amid allegations that the organizers were turning women into commodities. In this Miss Manipur 2016 beauty pageant, like uh, different communities from different districts of Manipur, uh, they are participating, and we hope to give the title to the deserving, to the most deserving candidate. Uh, yeah, th th that's the thing, and we are, we, and we are planning to bring. Uh, we have, we hope to bring a positive change in our society through this beauty pageant. The 20 finalists were put to test after being put through a rigorous grooming routine. They were also given etiquette classes. Papa Gatri from Ukral District was a Miss Manipur 2016. She also won a cash prize of rupees 70,000. Urmila, Sakol Sam and RK Lingtoi Sana were a Chairs the first and runners up respectively. Katri will now represent Manipur in the upcoming and the first edition of India Intimate Fashion Week, slated to be held in Mumbai from January 14 to 16, 2017. I feel so good. Like, uh... Words really won't be able to express because I'm really happy right now and I have my friends here today again and it's so good to see them. Being the miss is uh, out of my thinking but I love it, I'm loving it and I'm so loving it, yeah. Uh, this was a totally different pageant because we were all so attached with each other and we were so collaborative, we were cooperating with each other, encouraging each other. So. It was not just about competition and contest, so we learned a lot of things about life and friendships. That's a good part. Imphal also hosted the 50th Mr. Manipur Pageant. Organized by all Manipur Bodybuilding and Fitness Association, an affiliated member of Indian Bodybuilding and Fitness Federation, the contest was held at Pakya Chandra Open Ear Theatre. The contest also saw participants compete for a total of various subtitles including 58 senior, 44 junior, 26 master, 15 physical challenge, 8 women fitness, first women bodybuilding and first man physics championship. A total of 127 participants from across the state took part in the competition which shows a huge attention from the audiences. We are organizing uh, Golden Jubilee, Mr. Manipur, 2016. We are in a view to develop bodybuilding in this state and uh, to be a good citizen with good health and a good nation. I'm not I'm not Organizing such events offered the youth a platform for the youngsters to pursue their dreams. Such event also promotes the importance of maintaining good health and healthy lifestyles. Well, with that, we have come to the end of this episode of Roving Report. Do connect with us through our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter at anyindia underscore ANI. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get latest news updates from the Northeast. I'm your host Chandrakala signing off. Goodbye and take care.